Good morning and welcome to another episode. I am currently in central London. I'm heading to Mayfair area um, to the launch of a new EV. Um, all I'll say so far is, think small, two-seater, kind of smart area, but not smart. And smart as in London congestion charge and the benefits of driving around London in an EV, a small EV. So. Anyway, I'll see you there. To give you an idea of the target market this EV is aimed at, I thought I'd show you 10 minutes of my journey into central London. Congested just doesn't come close. We were invited to this private event, 20 in total, mainly hotel owners and buyers with commercial applications in mind, and we were unsure whether to attend when we saw some pictures of this new EV. It really is up there with quirky and makes a Renault Twizy look normal. However, for inner city driving, sharing, delivering, this makes sense. Brace yourselves for the biro. With a history of making world-renowned safety cells for high-rise cranes, you can see where the design inspiration originates. But more than that, the numbers in which these are selling and where they're selling. The company is already global with stores in Amsterdam, Portugal, Tokyo, and there's more on the way. And I can easily think of 10 applications for this crazy little box version. I'd be happy for my takeaway to be delivered in one and I'm sure you would too. The build is surprisingly good and you'll find yourself surrounded by sheets of laminated glass giving excellent all-round visibility. The forward-facing sunroof ensures good ventilation but I'm guessing will bring the rain in too. A tubular steel frame that comes in many different colours adds some funk but step inside and it's a real trip back to basics. Two pedals, one stalk and a steering wheel is your lot apart from two USB charge ports. Very modern. Charging is through this IEC lead and also quite slow, but the onboard charger is removable so you don't necessarily have to plug it in through the back. Here is the Biro's party piece. You can opt for a removable battery pack on the lower range model that you can do this with. Park up, drag the battery off to your home or office to charge up, come back, slot it in and you're away fully charged. And removal and refitment comes in in under 30 seconds very speedy. In terms of storage, there is some, but not a lot, just enough for a few small bags. By now I was really ready to test drive the Biro and I was joined by Giovanni, one of the team, as we set off around the streets of Westminster. So I am in the Biro and actually in the place where this is most suited. This is the very tight and congested streets of London, uh, Westminster in particular. And I'm sat next to Gi Giovanni. 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 Yes. It's a very Italian name. Italian. <laughs> yes. Now, Giovanni knows all the specs about this. So, how big is the battery, Giovanni? The battery is 111 ampere hour and gives you 100 kilometers of range, that is more or less 80 miles. Okay. The big one, the big one that is positioned behind the seats. Okay. The remove one, yeah. the, what the, the one you saw before, has uh, 35 uh, miles of yeah. range yeah. and uh, has a 55 amperes hour uh, of power inside, inside okay. of it. Um, I think that the, the next question would be how, ta how much time I need to recharge that. Uh, now, what's that in kilowatt hours? So, because in England we, we we don't tend to say amp hour, we tend to say kilowatt hours. So kilowatt hours. Like uh, the big one is seven. This is actually quite. It's got some go. Yeah. And it's, I don't know how much time you 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 need to go to north to sixty. No, does it? <laughs> it doesn't go to sixty. <laughs> but then in London it doesn't need to go to sixty, no, does it? It's, no, uh, no. I think that you need to go to twenty. Yeah, I think so. Twenty more. So. I saw a statistic and a European statistic that the average speed in the city center of Europe is 28 kilometers per hour. Oh. That is, I think, 20 miles. Uh, yeah, more yeah. or less. Six, 28, 6, 12, eight, 18 miles an hour, yeah, about. Yeah, yeah that's low. So, um, in terms of energy storage, two. Did you say two kilowatt hours? Of no, seven kilowatt hour. Oh, seven, seven, seven kilowatt hour. Seven, yeah. the big one, uh, yeah. behind the seat, and uh, more or less the half, so four. Four okay. Four okay. in the in the for the, the little one. Okay. The yes. And then. Okay. And then if I press this boost button. Yeah. Press it. 
<laughs> Power! <laughs> this is perfect for around here. Okay, we turn on left there at the semaphore. Where the truck's going? Or? Yeah, no, 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 no. So, um, do you know the Renault Twizy? Yeah? Yeah, I can tell you the suspension on this is better than that. Yes. Yeah, the suspension on the Renault Twizy is very hard. I'll just turn it off for a minute. Yes, um, we a producer of little uh, little cars like this, we need to make some special car. A lot of clients say also to us that suspension is a bit hard, why you don't make more soft? Yeah. If you make more soft, it's more probably yeah. that you feel uh, to roll Roll on yes. the side when you yeah, yeah. when you make yeah. a fast a fast turn. So in terms of acceleration, it's surprisingly good. Thank you. Um, the size is how tall are you, Giovanni? I'm one eighty-seven centimeters. Six so foot two. Six, six foot two. So I'm five foot twenty. Six foot two. Uh, it's cozy, but it's okay. And also, uh, I, I, I'm. I need to say that in a Renault Twizy, we cannot talk like this. No, no. we cannot look in the face. No, we like this. I, I, like I will this. be with my leg cut yeah. in a half, <laughs> seated behind. Yeah, definitely. Here is one meter uh, large. Yeah, and we are not in a Bentley, but we are comfortable. Yeah, I think. So you don't get a heater in this, um, but they do. Uh, oh, did you say a winter pack? Oh, or a wind one with a heated screen? No, straight on. Yeah, straight on. With it's just the name of the, the version that oh. comes uh, with the door as a standard. That's boosted. Yeah. <laughs> So no, no risk of electric shock or no. anything like that. No, no, no. no. So. Straight down. Uh, yes. Or we can we need to turn. No, we need to turn. We go left. Yeah, okay. yeah. So, is that the horn? Yes. <laughs> Got the horn. Gets a lot of attention, doesn't it? Yeah. That's Tesla Model X there, look. Oh, the X Model. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of Teslas in London. Yes? Yeah, lots. Yeah. You like it? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Actually, now I feel like I just want to nip down the side of the traffic. They don't make such kind of picture in the in the road with a Ferrari, I think. <laughs> oh yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> straight, 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 straight. I'm just gonna let him go past. Oh. That's clearly the way you get around London then. <laughs> just like that. Is that the handbrake down there? Yeah. So just one pull off. One pull. And then, do you need your foot on the brake to release it or just normal handbrake? No, no, no. Yeah, okay. You just use the handbrake. So what's your what, what's your place in the company? What do you do? Are you, do, you, are you, do you design, uh, manufacture? No, I work to, to manage the stores in Italy. Yeah. The commercial part in Italy. And I work for the development and the commercial part of Birocher. Okay. Birocher because uh, this vehicle is uh, produced by standard equipment. So yeah. it's not an optional ready for share, for oh, sharing. Okay. It's a GPS and the GPR uh, system yeah. that lets you locate your vehicle, share your vehicle, and also earn money by sharing your vehicle. I don't really know how's the law in England for this kind of service. To like share the vehicle? Sharing. Yeah, yeah, we, we have cash. I sharing. think that yeah. uh, it's somehow different in Italy than in Italy, but the system can be modified and perfectioned state by state, country by country. So, um, in terms of um, law, um, the maximum speed on this is 24 kilometers an hour. 
Uh, no, no, 45 kilometers, 45 an, kilometers hour. an hour. Yeah. So it needs to be tax registered, insured. It needs to have all the all the relevant yeah, documents. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. It's an okay. Okay. plate, plate. It's like a motorcycle. Yeah. Uh, a 50 cc. It's compared with the with a 50 cc motorcycles. Okay. Yeah, yeah. What do you? Uh, how are your sales going in Italy for for the bureau? Huh? How are the sales? Oh, the sales is which, quite, quite which way? No, this way. This oh, way. yeah. Okay. Fine. They are good. They are using a lot in the uh, biggest cities. So Turin, Milan, Rome. We are selling a lot. Okay. Yeah. Um, because it's like this, isn't it? It's so busy. Yeah, yeah. It's worse than this. I have to say that uh, English people are very polite. And the, the traffic, uh, there is a lot of traffic, but it's quite polite and ordinated. Yeah, yeah. Uh, in Rome, for example, is a nightmare. And with the bureau, you you gain a, a freedom. Very, very, very proud. Ah. But we are also selling uh, in, uh, in a lot of little city with the yeah. concept of um, community sharing. Yes. So a bureau as a service for um, a gym, a firm, a professional studies, okay. a yeah. production plan or a big condo. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they buy a bureau yeah. and they share. And people pay only. We turn left here. Oh, oh do we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, sorry. And people are paying only for the time they use it. Okay. Yeah, that's good. That is good. Car sharing is a big thing. Yeah, it's a yeah, big yeah. Thing. It's, it's exploding yeah. thing. There are several companies that are exploding with car sharing around the, the world. So and low are not fast enough. Straight down? Yeah. How much, if I wanted to buy this, yeah. right right now, with the removable battery and another battery, charger, everything, how much? You want two battery? Um, it's yeah, yeah, I say two batteries. It gives you a bit more freedom. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. With two battery, we are more or less about eleven thousand pounds. Yeah. Uh, plus VAT. Okay. And do you get the? Is that with the grant, or do you get a government grant for that? We are working to to get it. Okay. We will get in I think four or five months. For the end of the year, we will okay. have it for sure. Yeah. That boost button's fantastic. And we are eighteen horsepower. Yeah. <laughs> And also because it's a vehicle that weighs um, 280 kilos. With the battery? With the battery. 280 kilos. 280 kilos with a little one. Two, 300, uh, 300 kilos with a bigger. Fantastic. And where do you see the battery? How do you know how much charge you've got? Yeah, but, but here, 11, oh. 81%. 81%. And what is that? Uh, not zero, zero, one, zero. Ah, uh, it's a partial kilometer I presented this morning just to see a how much kilometers we make with the test leg. And then left here? Yeah. Well, this is my first experience of a Vero, mm -hmm. and I've got to say, it's been fun. I certainly like to spend a bit more time with it. Um, I mean, it's not a long range commuter. You're not going to drive from Aberdeen to Hinkley in it. However, well, you may do. However, around the cities, it's absolutely perfect. It makes absolute sense. And I think probably I prefer it with one person. Um, but in terms of cost to run, oh, oh, bit in terms of cost to run, it probably is about a bag of peanuts. And then par park? Parked. That's it? That's it. Handbrake, Handbrake. on? You would have heard Giovanni mention a car sharing which is a huge target market for the Biro and a reason it has an RFID card to drive away. This can be duplicated, timed, stopped and started with the push of a button. There is also a slightly upgraded black edition which features chrome door sills, a slightly better dash, alloys and some rear light cages and my favourite, removable doors.